Nathanael was known as a skeptical man. He doesn't believe that the Messiah would come from Nazareth. And then uh, Philip introduced him to Jesus or invites him to come to Jesus. And Nathanael replies. And Nathanael went to meet, meet Jesus. The dialogue was very interesting. A skeptical man about Jesus became a disciple. Nathanael comes toward Jesus. Imagine yourself approaching Jesus like Nathanael. Jesus looks at you in the eye and offers his arms to welcome you. And your life is about to change. You feel at ease, peace, and joyful. A true child of Jesus, Jesus acknowledged the existence of Nathanael as an honest man. From the skeptical man became an honest man because of the acknowledgement of Jesus, because Jesus knows who he is. You have known Jesus for a while, but you struggle to know who you really are. There were some moments in your life that you doubt if there is anyone who can really accept you and love you. Perhaps some people rejected you or your loved ones seem not to care. Then you hear Jesus says, you are my child, my beloved child. How does it feel? How do you know me? Nathanael asked Jesus. For some of, for, of us, we have a lot of issues that are hidden to others. We have secrets and we are too afraid to let others have a peek into our dark corner in this life. Yet, we long for friends who can accept us as who we are. In other words, each one of us must learn to accept one another, even if we are aware of each other's weaknesses and wickedness. Let us love one another as Jesus loved us. Jesus knows us more than we know ourselves. How do you know me? I saw you under a fig tree, Jesus answered Nathanael. For him, nothing is secret. It is therefore better to surrender everything to him. In first place, it is his will to free us from our fear and enslavement. He is our Savior who died for us. We pray for the Holy Spirit to help us to see ourselves as God sees us. Like Nathanael, let us recognize Jesus as the Son of God and our King. Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. As we surrender to him, our King, let us make him take control of our life, especially the parts of which bothers us in this life. Our faith will allow us to see greater things. Without faith, we will see heavens open and the angels of God descend and ascend on our Lord, who is the way, the truth, and the life. Today we celebrate our angels Gabriel, Michael, and Raphael 
and appear to us to lead to the way of Jesus has shown us. As Nathanael, sometimes we are skeptical about our faith. But when somebody introduces us to Jesus and then experience the love of Jesus, we follow him to the end of our life.